The I-9 is a super important new hire document, but often one that's overlooked by employers because you don't necessarily need the I-9 information to put your employee on payroll. However, it is a required document for every single employee that you hire. So when you have the I-9, you want the employee to fill out section one no later than their first day of work, but no sooner than they've accepted a job offer. So you absolutely cannot ask the employee to complete the I-9 before they've uh, accepted a job offer, but you also have to make sure that on day one of working that they complete their portion. They also need to provide you with documents to prove their eligibility to work in the United States. And there are three lists of documents for them to choose from. List A only requires one document from list A. If the employee opts to choose a document from list B, then they also need to provide a document from list C. But you as the employer are not supposed to request specific documents. So you don't wanna ask the employee, for example, to bring in their social security card and driver's license. You're just supposed to give them with a list of acceptable documents and allow them to choose what they'd like to provide. As the employer, you are required to complete section two, and this must be done within three days of the employee's date of hire. So if the employee starts on Monday, your section must be done by Thursday. And that includes completing section two and reviewing the documents and inputting that information into the form. The employer also completes section three when applicable. So again, with the I-9, this is a required new hire document. The employee should complete section one no later than their first date of hire, but no sooner than they've accepted a job offer. And the employer should complete section two within three days of the employee's date of hire. So best practice, it would be just to make sure that gets done on day one of the employee's work. And that way you and the employer are both in compliance. At the end of the day, it's your responsibility to make sure that the employee does their part and also your responsibility to ensure that you do your part as well. Fines for I-9 violations can be insane. And so it's really, really important that you have these done, that you have them done accurately. If you're not sure how to complete an I-9 or if you haven't done them in the past, you definitely want to start getting those completed and making the necessary corrections and notes on the form so that they are properly filled out. As always, if you have payroll questions, we've got answers. Feel free to drop a comment below or you can find us online at ballerpayrollsolutions.com.